Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to make this happy birthday card tonight using the Art Gallery stamp set and the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. I wanted to use this stamp and it's an all-in-one stamp. So if you put it in an ink pad and stamp it down, you get one color for the whole image. And I wanted to, to do it so that it turned out roughly like the DSP. So what I did is I uh, played with different colors and what ended up looking the best is Daffodil Delight as a card base and then Crushed Curry for the flowers. And when you've added the water to it, it ends up being almost the same color. So to do this, I've used um, an aqua pen and I've taken the crushed curry and I've just squeezed it together so that it leaves ink on the lid of the ink pad. So then you're going to take your aqua painter and you're going to just make sure it's just a little bit damp, but not too wet. You don't want it really, really wet. Um, otherwise it gets kind of blurry in here. You want, you want it to be uh, fairly detailed. So just dry it off so it's just just a little bit damp and then you pick up the color and it shouldn't puddle it should just swirl around if it puddles it's going to be too wet and you just paint this onto your stamp everywhere you want the the yellow color uh, you paint it on the stamp don't know if you can see the paint act or the the ink actually going onto the stamp it's uh, it's pretty transparent, but it's there, and you just make sure you've got as much of the stamp covered as you can. And if it goes in between, like in the um, detail of the stamp, it's okay because it just adds that little bit of of dimension that makes it look watercolored. And so I'm just going to hold that in the light so I can make sure that I do indeed have all the color on. Okay. And then you take it and you stamp it down. And when you lift it up, that's what it looks like. It's very wet. So you're going to, and as you can already see as it's drying, it's drying with that textured look. So I am going to clean my stamp. Um, and I have the old olive, um, Stampin' Right, and I'm going to take the brush end of this and I'm going to color right on the stamp to color in the greenery on the leaves because this is more fine than the flowers. Um, it works better with the um, Stampin' Right than the uh, brush, the Aqua Painter or Aqua Pen. So I'm just filling in wherever there is a stem And then I'm going to huff it so it stays damp. And then I'm going to place it down on my image so that everything lines up. You're probably gonna end up with my hair in the picture because I'm trying to line this up. So there we go. Um, and it didn't line up exactly, but that's okay. These ones lined up really, really well. Um, so we'll use this kind of as a background piece. And then you're going to cut it out um, using your the die from the set. And you're just going to place it down so it lines up and then sandwich it up. And it moved when I sandwiched it. So I'm just gonna put it down to sandwich it so that it doesn't move again. And then we will run it through the uh, stamp and cut and emboss. And when we take it out, we have got the image and just punch the little extra pieces out and we can build our card. 
So I need to run this through with the folder. It's a piece of five and a quarter by four um, basic white cardstock. And I'm going to run it through the machine so I can emboss it. And I talk about when I use dies that have a flat edge about putting them through on an angle. Um, and it, it helps too to put the embossing folders through on an angle and then there's not that hard edge against the roller. So there's your um, painted texture 3D holder. I'm just going to clean up my mess. Sometimes these are really tidy and other times it's just a mess. Um, and I'm going to use my stamp and seal and adhere this down like this. Just center that up, drop it down. Now with these, this is still a bit damp. These ones are dry, so this one looks a bit lighter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, attach this one directly to the uh, background. And then I'm going to dimensionalize the other ones uh, just so they pop up that little bit. And I'm just going to put a couple, three maybe on the back. And then we will do the greeting. And we're going to use the smallest stitched rectangle to do that. I'm just going to pop this up like that and then do the other one on the other side. Uh, and it's a really cute card, very, very simple, um, very clean um, to look at. Lots of white space to rest the eyes. And I'm just going to slide this in like this. And then we'll use the crushed curry. Um, actually, we're not going to use the crushed curry. We're going to use the daffodil delight to stamp the greeting so that it's the same color as the... Um, background and I have put there it is let's see I've put my stamp somewhere so we're just going to ink that up stamp it down there we go and I'm going to run it back through the machine and take the other die out There we go. And we're going to run it through, as I said, with the stitched rectangle. And we'll just line that up and make sure it's good and even. And then we're just going to sandwich that up, run it through. And I also have some of the 2020, 2022 in color enamel dots. Um, and there's they come in the bumblebee for the yellow, but when you put them on, uh, I didn't put them on the original card, um, but I liked, I was just gonna put a couple on this one just so we can see what it looks like. And we need uh, dimensionals. I am making a total mess this time. I am not usually this messy when I do these, but we'll just call it the creative process <laughs> and we'll just keep making a mess. As you know, kids, the bigger mess they're making, the more fun they're having. And we just pop this across the bottom like that. And if you've got anything tucked in behind, you can just lift it out and tuck it over top if you like, just like that. And now let's have a look at some of these enamel dots and just see how they look on here. I'm going to use the... Uh, take your pick tool and I'm just going to pop some of these down maybe one over here and I always like to do three so I like to do an odd number so I'm just going to pick that one up and maybe I'll just pop it down here so that is your happy birthday card using the art gallery stamp set um, and the painted texture 3D embossing folder, as well as an aqua painter and daffodil delight with crushed curry to do the flowers and old olive for the ink. 
So thank you very much for watching. If there is anything in this video that you would like to purchase, please use the links below and we will see you next time.